Alright, I'm Jack the Editor, and this is Ian Football. Before we get started, I'd just like to say thanks to Vanity for videos for uploading my Cavani to the Emerald to Man City transfer news video. Uh, this is a series I've just started on my channel, in which I talk about some of the rumours concerning a big name player, and towards the end of the video, I'll give you a rundown of some of the recently completed transfers. Some of the big rumours recently are about Edinson Cavani. I'm presuming most of you know who we are, he's a, a striker for Napoli, 26 years old and he's got 38 goals this season and I think about 43-44 games so obviously he's going to have a pretty big transfer fee I'd, I'd expect it to be maybe around 60 million maybe a little bit less depends how long he's got on his contract left um, the two clubs he's been linked to recently are Man City and Real Madrid the reason I say those two clubs is in fact his mum came out and said that he's in talks with them and his dad a few days later said that he wants to go to Madrid of the two I think he'd be a great signing for Real Madrid obviously at the moment they've got Benzema and Higuain so I'd imagine one of those two will leave. I think probably Higuain because he's he has come out and said that he likes to play first team football every week. Um, obviously Madrid are interested or apparently interested in signing Gareth Bale and Luis Suarez as well. If if they wanted to get Cavani, Bale, and Suarez, that would I imagine it would cost over 200 million. Which I mean, even for a young Madrid, I don't think they'd be able to afford to do that. So if they do get Cavani, I I guess that they wouldn't go for Suarez, which. It's good for Liverpool fans, like I am, so um, I'd be pretty pleased if that happened. As they could go for Bale as well, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd imagine they'd play Cavani up front, maybe Bale or Ronaldo left wing, one of those two through the centre, then like Dimaria on the right wing. But they've got to compete with Barcelona now, they've signed Neymar because, I mean, Neymar and Messi in the same team, it could work really well. Obviously, they could kind of get in each other's way, but Real Madrid definitely need to do something, make their fans happier about the fact that. Barca have gone out and signed a pair that they want in Madrid to sign. One thing Madrid might try and do is pair Cavani and Suarez together. Um, obviously they played together for Uruguay quite a bit and have done really well for Uruguay. So that could be a very effective partnership. If they go for that, I can't imagine they'd sign Bale, which I know Tottenham fans are pleased about. But obviously Cavani and Suarez together, I, I guess will probably cost total just over 100 million, which is a lot of money. Personally, I think that Madrid will sign Cavani. I also think that they won't go for Suarez because of that, but will try and sign Gareth Bale. I know that the, um, the Tottenham chairman is, seems to be very good at negotiating, so if they do want to sign Bale, they have to they have to spend a lot of money on him, so they might end up being priced out of that. I suppose if Bale hands in their transfer requests, tries to force it through, then he'll probably go, but it could be an interesting summer. Let me know what you reckon of these moves. Um, one thing I did in my video on my own channel was I talked through the, some of the completed moves. Um, these are the complete, some of the biggest completed moves since the last video I uploaded. Man City have signed Jesus Navas from Sevilla for around 15 million. Chelsea have agreed a fee with Bayer Leverkusen for Schürrle. Liverpool have pretty much signed Iago Aspas for about 7 million. Sevilla have signed Romanian striker Raul Rusescu and Joaquin has gone to Fiorentina. Let us know in the comments what you think of these transfers and who you want your team to sign. If you're watching this on random few videos, come check out our channel. We do a weekly crazy hybrid as, as suggested by you and also keep you updated on the latest footballing news. Um, before I finish, I want to give a shout out to another YouTuber called Edges Gaming. There's a link in the description to his channel. He's an Aussie uh, gamer who also makes super videos. Um, go check his channel out. He makes great videos. I know you'll enjoy them. If you give this video a like, that'd be great. Thanks for watching. Over and out.